The Trouble with Tuffy. This is a character building story about kindness. And one thing we learn about kindness is it's doing to others what you want them to do to you. Stevie and Nancy don't live in agape land, you know. They live in a regular house on a regular block, maybe one a lot like yours. Now, Stevie and Nancy have noticed a funny thing. The problems they run into at home are a lot like the problems in agape land. It just seems that things at home are a little harder to figure out. One problem Stevie and Nancy had was Tuffy. Tuffy was the meanest boy on their block. He lived with his father in an old green house that needed some new paint with a yard that was mostly weeds. No one seemed to know Tuffy's real name, but because he got into so many fights, his nickname seemed to fit just fine. As you might guess, Tuffy didn't have many friends. In fact, he only had one, a scruffy little black dog named Alex. One day, as Stevie and Nancy were walking home from school, they saw Tuffy under a large walnut tree near their house. He was throwing rocks at the bird nests in the tree, and he was laughing. Stop it, cried Nancy angrily. That's not funny. What if those nests have eggs in them or baby birds? Who cares, said Tuffy. He threw another rock. Why don't you mind your own business? Alex, who never strayed too far away from his master, growled angrily at Stevie and Nancy. So the children went on home. What a meanie he is, Nancy said angrily as they walked. How would he like it if someone threw rocks at his house? That night they told their father all about what had happened. Their father thought quietly for a minute. Well, Nancy, he said, I don't think that throwing rocks at Tuffy will help him change his ways. But I think I know what will help. What should we do, the children asked. Their father had a little twinkle in his eye. In the Bible, Jesus said to feed your enemy if he is hungry and if he is thirsty to give him something to drink. In other words, be kind to your enemy. Do to others what you would have them do to you. That's the plan. Kindness. And he sang Stevie and Nancy a song. If you'd been there with them... This is what you would have heard. Do you want to know How to make love grow? Take a seed to start Plant it in a heart Then you water it some And give it lots of sun and before you know it, love will start to grow Let your kindness show Let your kindness grow A little seed is all you need, you know Let your kindness show Let your kindness grow A little seed is all you need Now a seed can be Many things you see Like a word you say In a friendly way It's the way you share It's the way you care It's the smile you show Cause kindness makes love grow Let your kindness show let your kindness grow A little seed is all you need You know Let your kindness show Let your kindness grow A little seed is all you need You know Kindness is like a flower You must water the seeds you but it is the power of God that makes them grow Let your kindness show Let your kindness grow A little seed is all you need, you know Let your kindness show Let your kindness grow A 
You mean we should be kind to Tuffy, Stevie asked, even after all the mean things he's done? You're exactly right, his father said. And so Operation Kindness began. For the next week, Stevie and Nancy put the plan into action, but it wasn't easy. One day, Stevie offered to help Tuffy study for a test. Tuffy just laughed at him. The next day, Nancy baked Tuffy some chocolate chip cookies. Tuffy took one bite and pretended not to like them. These are awful, he said. I wouldn't even feed these cookies to my dog. He threw them on the ground and snatched Alex away before the dog could even sniff at the crumbs. By the end of the week, Stevie and Nancy were tired of Operation Kindness. It was so hard, and it just didn't seem to work. Tuffy was meaner than ever. Then on Saturday morning, the children passed Tuffy's house and noticed something strange. The little dog, Alex, was nowhere in sight, and Tuffy was making sniffling noises and wiping his face with a handkerchief. Hi, Tuffy, Stevie called from outside the fence. Oh, it's you two again, Tuffy said in a snuffly voice. Why don't you leave me alone? Is something wrong? Nancy asked. No, Tuffy shouted. I've just got something in my eye. Where's Alex? Stevie wondered out loud. Alex, oh, he's just... Suddenly, to the children's surprise, Tuffy began to cry loudly. They hurried into the yard and sat beside him. The dog catcher took Alex to the dog pound, Tuffy explained between sobs. Alex doesn't have a license, and I don't have money to buy one. And my father doesn't care. And Tuffy began crying again, and Nancy cried too, because Tuffy wasn't tough anymore. Just sad and lonely. Wait, Stevie jumped up. I have an idea. We'll help you get Alex back. How? Tuffy asked with big tears in his eyes. By working for the money, that's how, he declared. Come on. And work they did. They mowed lawns. They pulled weeds. They washed cars. Finally, after many hours in the hot sun, they had enough dimes, quarters, and dollars. They bought the new license. Then they ran to the dog pound. There was Alex in his cage. When Alex saw them, he wagged his tail so hard it looked like it might fall off. When the man opened the cage, the dog jumped into Tuffy's arms and licked his face. Tuffy held on to Alex as if he would never let go. Finally, Tuffy spoke. Thank you so much for helping me get Alex back. I'm sorry that I was mean to you before. Nancy thought for a moment about her chocolate chip cookies. It's not always easy to be kind, but that's what friends are for, to help no matter what. And we're friends, right, Tuffy? Stevie asked. Well, yes, Tuffy began. I'll be your friend on one condition. Why, what's that? Nancy asked in surprise. Will you bake me some of your cookies again? I really did like them, you know, Tuffy admitted. Why, sure, Nancy said. And they all laughed. <laughs> 